Good morning, students. Today we are going to see chapter two, exercise two point five, ten sum achieved max. Okay, the twelfth sum. It's based on arithmetic progression. Okay, the ratio of sixth and nine, eighth term of an AP is seven is to nine. Ratio is given. Okay, we have to find the ratio of ninth term to thirteenth term. Okay, so first. What we can conclude from the given data? So first, you have to write given. Anything we have, we can get it from given data. You have to check it. So what is given only? We can take something, right? So what is the ratio of sixth term and eighth term? How will you write the ratio? It is sixth term means what? T six, right? The ratio can be written as T six is to T eight, right? Is equal to what? Seven is to nine. This is the only given data. From this, we have to take out something. We have to conclude something, and we have to substitute in the uh, what is asked in the question, right? So that we will get the ratio of ninth term to thirteenth term. Okay, children. So now T six is to T eight. So how will you write the ratio in another form? In fractional form, how will you write T six by T eight is equal to seven by nine? So what is the nth term formula? Actually, the formula is what T n is equal to what a plus n minus one into d. So T six is coming only n we know right. So how will you write T six? A a as it is right plus n is what six six minus one into d divided by here T eight also a as it is and d as it is a plus what is our n eight eight minus one into d is equal to seven by nine. So six minus one is what five. So a plus five d by a plus seven d is equal to seven by nine. So we can cross multiply, right? So now we can cross multiply. So I have to multiply nine into this term and seven into this term. So nine a plus forty five d is equal to seven a plus forty nine d. Okay. Now I am bringing because we have like terms, right? I am seven a. I am bringing here and forty nine d. I am bringing this side. So nine a minus seven a plus forty five d minus forty nine d is equal to zero. Okay, wow. so what is nine a minus seven a? Two a forty five d minus forty nine d minus four d is equal to zero. So the, from this two a is equal to four d. So we can cancel this two and four. That is two two zero four. So a is equal to two d. You are getting a is equal to two d. So we can substitute in the term or the term a. You can substitute two d. Okay. This is the conclusion we are getting out of the given hint, right? Otherwise d is equal to a by two, right? So now a is equal to the place of a. It will be you can substitute two d. For what is asked in the question, we can find the ratio. So what is asked to find what? To find the ratio, right? So t nine by t thirteen is asked, right? T nine by t thirteen. So how will you write t nine? T nine by t thirteen. How will you write? T nine means a plus one less than this. Okay, easily can write. You can save time. And n minus one is what we wrote like this. Like t six na or one less than. 5d right so here also a plus 1 less than is what d a d by here a plus yes 12d okay now same ap only right same ap only they are saying the conclusion from the given hint a is equal to 2d so i am substituting a is equal to 2d here okay substituting a is equal to 2d so 2d plus a d by 2d plus 12d so what will happen T nine by T thirteen is equal to two D plus eight D is what? Ten D by two D plus twelve D fourteen D. So this D D we can cancel and we can go for two tables five two are ten seven two are fourteen. So what is our T nine by T thirteen? It is nothing but five by seven. So how the ratios are? So how will you write the answer? Therefore, T nine. Is to t thirteen is equal to five is to seven. Okay, this is very very important question. So from the given hint, you are concluding some data out of it. So then you are substituting in what is asked in the question. Okay, thank you children. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching Love Max. Always love Max. Okay. Thank you.